the fight against corruption previously has been um, many people say is a circus you haul people to court uh, with a lot of razzmatazz drama and so on and so forth after a short while the cases are thrown away lack of evidence the difference now is that we have the goodwill um, of uh, um, the president himself in ensuring that um, the constitution is adhered to uh, and that independence of institutions are well anchored and in addition um, um, we have a new approach of uh, collaborating and coordinating and uh, cooperating between agencies um, and moving forward that's the way we'll be working. How adequately prepared, how well have you gathered the evidence that you hope to nail the suspects in this particular case because there was NYS1, 23 out of 24 suspects went scot-free. We've learned through mistakes um, over time. I think you will see a big difference now. We are looking at things more holistically. Uh, we recognize that uh, crime and corruption itself is very complex and therefore when we do the, uh, the investigations and when we, we undertake prosecutions then we also become complex in our approach. And I think I've said before that um, we will not be going simply with a, with a you know, traditional penal code. We'll be looking at all the acts that uh, Parliament has enacted for us to be able to um, tackle this, uh, this problem. We've seen some sort of collaboration between your office, um, the NIS, the Directorate of uh, Criminal Investigations. Where is ESCC in the whole game? Uh, we seem to f find them very silent. They're not silent. They're cases that they're working on. And I think very soon um, you will see the same approach between uh, ourselves and, and, and the ESCC. Um, what, what we've done is, uh, um, I think, considering the workload of both, um, we are going to allocate different cases to the different agencies so that we can expedite. Kenyans are impatient. Um, some of these cases have taken so long. Um, I think uh, we must uh, recognize that uh, uh, the police is a much bigger force um, and uh, can, can help in, in, in tackling this, this problem. Follow through has been the previous challenge where a case kicks off with a lot of hype but midstream dies down and often leads to acquittals. How well prepared is your team to follow this through and ensure that um, there will be convictions and also that the recovery of assets uh, purchased from proceeds of uh, uh, corruption uh, are recovered. Yeah, it's, it's a good point that you brought the issue of uh, asset recovery. That is one um, area that we're going to uh, strengthen and use more. Uh, we will not allow people uh, to be able to enjoy proceeds of crime. Uh, we will also be going into uh, uh, looking at lifestyle audits, and especially those people that uh, we intend to prosecute. Uh, uh, in this particular case, uh, we were working on that. Uh, we have already seized um, assets. I think you've seen in Naivasha, vehicles have been seized. Uh, we're going to seize land. Uh, we're going to freeze. Um, accounts have already uh, been frozen. We're going to freeze more, more, more accounts um, and um, um, proceed uh, to, 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 to then forfeit those uh, assets to the government. Fighting corruption is also a very risky venture. I mean, you're dealing with people who have acquired fraudulently billions of shillings. Um, it could also be a security threat not only to you but to your officers. Are you not perturbed by this? Corruption can be a threat to prosecutors. Uh, um, we are cognizant of that. But these are sacrifices that we are willing to make for this country um, to make a change. Yeah. Um, I'm cognizant of that. Um, um, but somebody has to take um, has to take it for the country. So in my opinion, corruption is more dangerous than terrorism. Look at what has happened in the past. Very few big fish have been successfully prosecuted. I was asking why do we confine ourselves to small and big when you actually even have whales and you can we can even do whaling. Yeah. Um, I don't see any obstacles in us uh, reaching um, 
from those limits that Kenyans think they, they, they exist. Um, there are people who can procure. Um, and these people are people of means, they can pr procure very good um, um, senior councils. And that's one reason why um, we're also looking into ourselves getting senior councils to help out um, um, and give Kenyans more, more confidence. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for calling us time.